Hey friends, in this video I will guide you for installing MySQL in Windows 11 machine. So for installing MySQL you required a software or setup file for MySQL and this setup can be downloaded from the official website that is mysql.com and there is a link that is download so once you click on the downloads link you will get the download page and over here you will get the number of editions as well as my uh, mysql related uh, uh, news or some other information so because we are just going to install this mysql in my windows 11 machine and this machine is not the part of enterprise so we we can click on the mysql community link for inst for downloading the mysql community edition but if you are just installing mysql for your enterprise organization so you can just select this one i am going to click on the mysql community edition download link and now we get a mysql community edition related download page over here and uh, here you can see this is the community downloads related uh, informations are available so uh, because we will install it for windows machine so we will click on the mysql installer for windows and if you just want to uh, download and install the previous version of the mysql community edition so just click on the download archives so in the download archives you will get a list of uh, a previous version previous version of mysql so i'm going to show you this is the previous version uh, My, mysql community related products are available so if you just want to download the previous version so just click on the mysql installer and here you will get a list of previous version uh, mysql installer link so if you just want to select any one of them so just click over here and then you will get a download page for your windows machine because we are just uh, installing the latest version so we'll go on the first page where we were just downloading the mysql uh, installer for windows now click on this mysql installer for windows option so you will get a latest version of mysql community edition so this is the 8.0.34 is the latest version of mysql and uh, here you will get a uh, two type of msi installer if you click on the first link so you will get a 2.4 mb of uh, setup and this will require a internet connectivity and it will download the products from internet but if you will just click on this uh, download on the second link so you will get a 331.3 mb of uh, setup file and this will contain all of the products related with the mysql community edition so i'm going to download this one now it is asking if you have a oracle login id or if you just want to sign up so select any one of them but as of now uh, this is just allowing to download it without your account or without your without creating in a new account as well so just click on this no thanks just start my download now the download has been begun and we need to wait for a while for download for downloading this set of files so once it will be downloaded then we'll start the installation so downloading has been finished now and uh, i'm just going to execute this msi package so we'll click on this msi package and uh, now we are just getting a pay uh, a pop-up over here so we need to click for executing this installer package so i'm going to click on this because we already downloaded this file so we need to just close this url as of now now once you click on the run option so you will get a user account control pop up over your machine and this is just asking to allow this so i clicked on the yes now it is again asking for allowing inside the user access control so click on yes and uh, mysql installer has just provided a, a page where you can just select or you can choose the the setup type like server only client only full or custom if you click on the uh, full so you will get you will install all the products 
for your MySQL but if you just want to customize your installation so just click on the custom and then proceed accordingly but in our case we are just proceeding with the full so this will install all the uh, MySQL community related products including MySQL server, MySQL shell, MySQL uh, router, MySQL workbench documentation, samples and examples and more. Now after selecting the full so you need to just click on the next in the next uh, it is just asking that uh, uh, the, the product like MySQL workbench is just going to be installed so select this one and because uh, this selected path already exists and uh, because previously I just used this path for installing the MySQL so it is just asking that uh, if you just want to use the same path so you can proceed with the next but if you just want to install it in somewhere other location in D drive so just click on this option and uh, suppose I am going to install it in somewhere in D drive so what I will do I will just select the D drive and will create a new folder like uh, my SQL and uh, I will click on OK after selecting the new path custom path you can just proceed with the next and click on yes and uh, it is just asking for installing this all product of your MySQL community so you can just click on execute this will just install each and every product one by one so we need to wait for a while for completing this uh, installation post completing the installation of MySQL, in, uh, MySQL community editions you need to just proceed for the configuration part so just click on the next and click on the next again and it is just asking where the like con config type and uh, because we are just uh, selecting the development computer so if you want to just configure some other type so you can select accordingly but uh, as per now as of now we are just selecting the development computer and this is the port number where MySQL will communicate over the network like TCP configuration details are there named pipe if you just want to select the named pipe so select this one and uh, shared memory as well so you can just configure and set up the things accordingly as per your requirement and uh, because we are just going to select by the default option we'll click on the next and uh, click next again here you are you need to just put the uh, the root password that will be used for mysql connectivity with the admin account you can say like this is something like the admin account so we are just putting a strong password over here now after just validating this password you can just create a new mysql account or you can go ahead with the root account but i always suggest you to just create a account create a standard account for for others for using this mysql on your machine if you just want to create an account so just click on uh, add user and here you need to just specify the user account and the a role like a backup admin db manager or instance manager you can just specify the role as well but as of now we are just proceeding with the root account only so i'm just going to click on the next and this is the service name that will be available inside your services.msc so we are just using the windows service uh, win using with the standard system account so we'll select this one but if you just want to to assign the service uh, startup uh, features with other users so you can select the custom user here you need to just specify the user account because we are just going with the standard system account so we'll click on the next and we are just granting the full access to the user running the windows service so we'll click on the next and uh, execute so the configuration part is just uh, 
the configuring the things including services and the database and all and it will also update the windows firewall rules uh, where you it will specify the port number which we had just allowed while configuring this mysql now click on the finish and click on next and click on the finish click next and here it is just asking if uh, it's just validating if your details are correct like the password and all click on check so the connection has been successfully uh, uh, configured and we are able to connect with this port 3306 and click on next so I always recommend you whenever you are just installing so you can just validate the things how you have configured like uh, click on next and click execute click finish click next and finish now this is the mysql workbench where you can just communicate with your database and all and uh, this is the mysql uh, shell here you can just connect with the various kind of uh, uh, applications or api through the mysql shell so i'm just closing this as of now and we'll see or we'll validate the folder where we just install the mysql community editions as well as also we will see the version of mysql on the windows 11 machine post installations so you required to validate these all details including services as well now just click on the link here like mysql connection if you just want to connect on mysql so just put the password now we are just able to communicate with my mysql after putting the correct details and here you can also check the version of your uh, mysql so what you need to do just open the cmd and here you can go on the location where you have just installed your uh, mysql so i'm just uh, going on the location where we just installed in my system now type mysql.exe and v it is just asking to use the root user account run as admin so i am going to open it click on yes inside the user access control and here you can go on the location mysql.exe and uh, v so this is the addition like v because we just entering the small v but it requires a uh, caps inside in the cap so caps so what i need to do I just enter this command mysql.exe and uh, hyphen v you will get the version of your mysql on your machine so this is the method which you can follow to install and configure your mysql for windows 11 machine thank you for watching this video